Morning, folk. Morning, folks. <laughs> hey, Gator. Uh, we're uh, starting a venture into. Well, yeah. See that? Hang on. <laughs> the truck in the back of me. <laughs> well, we're gonna. I call that sharpening up the brakes. Kind of up the pedal a little bit. Uh, we got the back brakes. Hang on. I'm gonna just show you a bit there. You got the back brakes there. I got the drum off. There's, this is a, a 99, so no disc brakes in the back. Pads are still very good, but there was a, <laughs> I got it upside down there. Uh, I just need to scuff the brake pads and scuff the rotors a little bit on the inside and maybe clean it with some uh, brake clean and uh, Put a tighten up, yeah, tighten up the the adjuster so that the brakes are right there <laughs> if you want, and then uh, we do the front. But I don't want to take you through the whole process because uh, just want to tell you what's on the menu. <laughs> hey, by the way, <laughs> remember last week I did a last week or the week before I did a video on. Uh, on the Ottawa River <laughs> well same thing as two years ago I went up to the farm my daughter's place and uh, lo and behold <laughs> in two rivers the water's lower than it ever was even lower than it was in 2017 but uh, there was a guy called Egan in the Ottawa Citizen and uh, he more or less describe what happened. I had phoned him two years ago. More or less describe what had happened to the river and the <laughs> all the water authorities, eh? They're, comp they're comprised of uh, city, not city, provincial, federal, Hydro Ontario and Hydro Quebec. And these idiots, <laughs> yes, idiots, <laughs> I don't think they know, <laughs> I don't think they know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know, it's just haphazard, it's just luck to end up at the right. Right now, okay, I'm just gonna, I didn't want to elaborate. I could have taken pictures, but I decided not to, just because this guy Egan had made a report in the newspaper and a few pictures. But uh, just like to elaborate what's happening. He had the farm, the milk truck, said, in Lake Temiskaming, which is the headwater of the Ottawa River, it was overflowing. <laughs> so these idiots decided to empty, <laughs> empty Ralston and uh, the reservoir that goes right up the Mattawa to receive those waters. But right now, it's empty, and the waters are just, are just coming in from up north. <laughs> So they flooded Ottawa to save a few houses, maybe, in Manawa. I don't think they'll even uh, save them, but ah, that's another <laughs> story for another day. But anyways, okay, ah, that's enough said. But we got some idiots here at the controls of the water. <laughs> that's what I wanted to say. Real idiots. Like, uh, a school kid wouldn't do no worse. All these guys are high-paid Bullshitters, yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, I shouldn't talk like this, but uh, it's incredible the uh, the people they have and control such things that they can flood thousands of people, eh? Anyways, back to the break jobs. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I, I got a little bit. I don't have to show you blow by blow what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna show you as the process goes by. Hey, so you hang in there. <laughs> See, folks, how easy it is. It's already back together. I scuffed the inner, uh, the, <laughs> the brake shoes, and I, I scuffed the drum and cleaned it all with brake clean, and, I, and then I put it back together. That's it for the back. Well, this back. Then I want to rotate the tires at the same time. See, so you got one there. Then I switch over. 
to the front. So you hang in there. I'll be back short. I'll check the front end too at the same time for upper, lower, tie rod end, the uh, pitman arm, and uh, <laughs> all the other good stuff in front. But I won't bother showing you. <laughs> but hey, say hang in there. Okay? Okay, folks. Uh, <laughs> as you can, my big belly. <laughs> as you can see, I got the drum back on cleaned up, tightened up, brakes are tightened up. I know you can tighten them with the uh, handbrake uh, cables there. It, it all works, but to get to snug them up, I scuffed the brake pads and I scuffed the roller, uh, the uh, drums in the front. I uh, greased, <laughs> I greased the joints on the drive line. Uh, looks like everything. I'm checking the ore. Oil, uh, the air, not the oil. Checking the air. So, uh, well, I'll come back to you when I'm all done. <laughs> I'll put the wheel back on. I'm going to oil the inside of this there for the summer. And I'll come back to you. Hello, friends. <laughs> Hello again, I should say. Now I'm uh, loading up my chains. Hang on. The, uh, these chains are the, I got another one there, but these chains are the last resort. Going to the camp uh, Saturday, it's supposed to be nice, tomorrow it's raining. Oh, not, go, not going. Maybe still snow and ice on the road, I'll be showing you. <laughs> but uh, this here is the last resort. <laughs> See how far I can get. If I get there, and there's a lot of snow in the room. I'm putting the chain, chains on, either the front or the rear. The front is better, but it could be hard on the on the pieces, <laughs> like axles and things like that. I don't know yet. We'll see. We may not need them. Uh, every spring I bring them, and uh, up to now, uh, I've never. Uh, Never needed them, so <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's the same this year. But we'll see. So hang on, I'll go get the other one there. See, these are uh, transport chains. I, uh, I fitted them. I fitted them to my truck, <laughs> so they're, I put them on, I put a few bungees, that's it, <laughs> and that'll get me there. I finished the, uh, I guess a spring preparatory, uh, changed the oil in this, and the uh, filter, now it's greased, uh, I've rotated the wheels, checked the air, I've done the brakes, the front pads, just uh, scuffed the rotors a little bit and cleaned them up with brake clean and uh, the pads were good. <laughs> Two years now with those pads and hardly use. But of course I went out with this truck last winter two times. <laughs> it's not hard on the old truck, eh? <laughs> Anyways, okay, that's it. <laughs> I more or less had fun doing this. A lot of work, but uh, worthwhile there it keeps the truck in shape. So, uh, salute you all, and uh, don't forget <laughs> the better ones are yet to come. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>